escort. Two civilian aircraft flying through the hills region northwest of Los Canas are under threat of attack by Erujian fighters. On board are the engineers responsible for Stonehenge, as well as their families. They are offering information in exchange for amnesty and permission to defect to an ISAF member state. One of the aircraft is flying at an extremely low altitude due to some unknown problem. Your mission is to protect both aircraft from enemy fighters. Make sure they exit the combat area safely. Okay. No data. Hmm. Sounds like it's going to be an air to air mission though, I guess. See if there's anything else we can buy at the moment. Get the Mirage. Oh, that's a new one. Expensive though. Oh, we we have all the weapons for this one. Okay. Well, I guess uh, we can we can rock with this first. Yeah. On the XLAA for this one, since uh, probably air to air. Air Ixium, this is Sky Eye. Please describe your situation. Air Ixium, Flight 702 here. Erosium fighters are closing in on us at 23,000 feet. Please hurry. Flight 701 here. We were shot on takeoff and our captain's injured. This is First Officer Nagase. Oh, hey. Hey, Nagase. That's a recurring character. Nagase is a important character in Fight. He's one of the squad members there. But also, it's a name that they like to use. Uh, I think Rich Racer also has also has a K Nagase. Ah, it's a pressurization problem. Be so they have to land. stay. They have to stay at uh, below 3,500. I think. It's a big Just shoot it, you're shooting it. Oh, they're below us. The ISF fighters engaging the Erujians. Thank you. 
So we're gonna have to we're, we're hopping between low and high altitude a bunch, I guess is the idea. Also, I'm pretty sure shooting down civilian airliners is a war crime. But... Eh, what are you gonna do? What else? Two? No way out. Ran into the return line. Sorry. Oh. Mobius one, sky eye here. Never mind. Both aircraft have exited the combat area safely. We accidentally crossed the return line, and we just also they also just crossed the return line. All passengers and crew are safe. Please thank the fighter. Hey, we did it. All right. Simple enough mission. All passengers and crew from both aircraft were examined by an ISAF medical officer and are in good health. Several states are coming forward with offers of amnesty to the defectors and their families. Okay, quick save and... Bombs were delivered to their base. This meant that an enemy who had to be fought by those means was close at hand. The resistance blew up the squadron's runway. Yellow 4 suffered light shrapnel wounds. Though the runway could be fixed, the complete loss of reserve supplies was a heavy blow. Logistics oh, support that. became infrequent following the Allied operations. I knew this because Yellow Squadron's crew chief belly ached about this all the time to me. I won't complain if I buy the farm while I'm airborne, but I can't stand being taken out while I'm grounded. Now I understand 13's feelings. Reports of the Stonehenge air raid came in. Yellow floor and all the others. With no bombs, her plane was light. But her plane was in bad shape. It needed an engine replacement badly. Stonehenge offensive. Here we go, boys. Mission 12. We will attack Stonehenge, the lethal weapon that has plagued ISAF for so long. Since it was designed to shoot down asteroids, a few small fighters flying unpredictable high-speed courses should be able to get within range. According to the defectors, its central ECM jamming system disrupts our radar and missile guidance systems. Unless this system is destroyed, our mission will be very difficult to execute. HQ predicts a 40% casualty rate for all deployed aircraft. It will be a tough mission, but one we can't avoid. Now go and reclaim the skies over the mainland. Dismissed. 
Operation Stone Crusher. That's a good name. <laughs> um, three air, eighteen ground, seven main targets. Let's see if I can afford any new aircraft real quick. Well, I can get the Mirage. Yeah, but I can't get anything else. Your fighter... I can't get that yet. I guess I'll save money and get the make later on then. Oh hey, the F-15C! Okay, we'll get to that later. I'll save I'll save our money for the make, I guess. And we'll stick with the... Let's look at this for now. Um, a guided bomb, I guess, since we're doing, we're doing ground targets. Well, it's a mixture, but you know. Ooh, opening cutscene. There it is, chat. Use your guns to destroy the jamming devices. Oops. <laughs> uh, the hitbox for that thing is bigger than I thought. <laughs> Ran in and immediately kamikaze it into into a cannon. Yes, that that that's how it goes canonically. Yes. Anyway. Oh, I see. We can't lock onto anything until we uh, destroy the jammers. Which, uh, which ones are these? Are these it? No, those are vehicles. Oh. We don't need to. We can just hit the. We can just hit the the cannons directly. Wait, that one's not a target. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Getting a little callous there, so chat. Alright, I've got him cornered. Okay. I did I did a way better job clearing those out with the guider bombs. I think I finally figured out I think I finally figured out the angle. <laughs> Took us a while. Alright, we can clean all the, the rest. Use your behind me. This was a pretty good run, all things uh, considered, I guess, because we actually manually bombed all the cannons. Oh, never mind. We were out, we were out of... Uh, we were out of unguided bombs. It is destroyed Stonehenge. Sky Eye here. We confirmed via radar that Stonehenge was destroyed. But it looks like we've got something. Fire is located in Mach 2. Don't worry, our aces are faster than they are. You are all clear to the Stonehenge. Why is the last cannon left standing? It was destroyed, uh, it was hit by meteors and rendered inoperable. So it's not working. 
That's in the backstory. Uh, it was that was back when the, it was actually used to hit the asteroid. So it's not a mission critical target, so we just have to do the And they fixed it up in second. Alright. Here's here's yellow squad. It's out and out dog fighting with 40 missiles. He shot me! Where do we start from? Oh, we gotta start with Stonehenge bombing again? Okay. Stonehenge is responsible. There is no checkpoint apparently. Well, to be fair, you can bomb Stonehenge very quickly, I'm noticing. Here, I'll do a speedrun of it this time. I won't go for the bonus targets, I'm just gonna blow everything up. Last one. Oh, I'm out. Oh, okay. Well... Hehehehe. <laughs> there we go, chat. Non-jammer run. We didn't even... Didn't even need to break the jammer. We, we beat it. Now we... Now we, uh... Now we dogfight yellow squad. Squadron. Duck fight time. Gonna need to. We're gonna need to to focus up, I guess. Oh boy, Yellow Squad's not playing around for sure.
Man, you can speed on Stone Inch really quick if you know what you're doing. See how fast we're doing this now, chat. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Yeah, it's just that we're not. Uh, at least, at least we can get to fighting Yellow Squadron quicker now. But we can clear it in like a minute and a half. Going head on with you. Come on. Oh wow. <laughs> that was fast. Oh no, we shot yellow four down. The other aircraft are withdrawing. That's a confirmed kill on a yellow. It's a complete victory for the good guys. So if I just charge, I charge them head on and wait. You know what? That went by so quickly. I want to watch the replay. <laughs> this was fun. Let's see how. Let's see how this went. <laughs> that was fast. Literally just two missiles. Two and missiles right up the tailpipe. Been about a quick end to the war. And we got a C rank because we went we went fast instead of uh instead of, we went fast instead of blowing up all the extra anti. Though he lost four. Thirteen never openly showed his sorrow. But I found out. He was alone, quietly gazing at the handkerchief Yellow Four left behind. When he felt my eyes upon him, he said, No matter what, she can't complain. She went up with her plane in disrepair. Oh, I see. That's Pilots why we shot Pilots are responsible for their planes. That's why you would have shoot her down? He then went on and spoke of the time when they first met. He spoke of when she was just a girl. Before he trained her. Before she became a fighter pilot. His words weren't directed at me in particular. He was keeping a precious memory alive by speaking those words. The hint of perfume on her keepsake handkerchief. Yellow Squadron's pilot turnover ran high. The skilled ones went in to shore up other units while rookies with little airtime transferred in. Yellow 13 posted an allied paper faxed over by headquarters. It praised the pilot who destroyed Stonehenge. <laughs> That's me. 13 said to everyone, Look, here's something worthy of praise. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Even among the enemy there are men like this. Not all of them are despicable bastards who rob our wings through cowardly sabotage. I stared at the barkeep's daughter as she winced at those words. The Allies were coming to our town. Ah, the rebellion's about to several touch the planes on the ground, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, war is war, you know. There's there's only so much. That's interesting, right? This is a this is actually a very minimalist story for, uh, as far as Ace Combat goes, you know. Not a lot of like named characters. It's not like huge, high concept drama or anything. It's a very simple war story about different perspectives and stuff, and. Yeah, it's mostly humanizing the main rivals that we are going up against. Which, you know, we just shot one of them down. It's really cool, you know. It makes them more than just face as NPCs. And it makes you think about, like, the effects of war and stuff, you know. Even while it's a cool war simulator game where you're shooting down stuff in a glamorous fighter jet. It's got a little story that makes you think, you know. And I think that's cool. <laughs>